Mustard Mondays were back in action and I got a special treat. I got Alex from Gym Fit Form. These guys are popping up like mushrooms. Dollard, Laval. Alex, welcome to Mustard Mondays. Hi. It's a little early. We may not be eating uh, mustard the way that I normally eat it, but we've got a special surprise dish coming for us. Great. First of all, Alex, tell us who you are, where you come from, and how Gym Fit Form came to be. Well, uh, so basically, uh, my name is Alex Colombo. I'm president of uh, Gym Fit Forum. I've been in the field for the past 20 years. Um, I'm from RDP. My first gym came from RDP. It's in the east. Well, you guys might know where it is. I know where it is. I've been there. I've been there a couple of times. <laughs> but it's in RDP, a nice, <laughs> nice district. I was born and raised there and uh, starting to grow with, uh, with the business. So um, I'm very glad to be here in the West Island. Amazing. Um, amazing. It, it reminds me a lot of the East End. Yeah. Very, very close community. Very. Very uh, loyal. Very loyal, yeah. And, and now you're part of us. So welcome. Welcome to the West Island. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no passport required. <laughs> let's, talk about the, let's talk about gyms in general because we see, you know, there's, there's, there's you know, things that get strapped to you and you get your, your, your recordings online and there's digital this and classes. Tell us where we are now, what we're seeing in terms of trends in gyms. Well, right now the trends, the biggest trends right now, it's the, it's the, it's the low cost gym. Yeah. A lot of self-service gym. Basically, yeah. uh, we see more and more of uh, big banners like Econo Fitness. Yeah. Or they basically are opening uh, a lot of gyms that you don't have any service. Uh, where we are different is uh, we've noticed that also the high-end gyms are becoming more and more smaller surface, mm -hmm. like boutique gyms. Yeah. So what we did is we have a model of a gym fit form as a high-end gym with affordable pricing and we have the low cost and the high-end in one gym. You can accommodate every market. That's right. We're very unique for that. Okay. So if you're looking to have a self-service service, service uh, gym, you, we have it. You want to have a full service, we also have it. So we offer everything. Let's talk about why people come to a specific gym. Sometimes it's because of, um, you know, your friends go there. Sometimes it's because it's close. But what we don't realize is the culture of the gym is so important. Tell us about the culture that you're trying to develop at Gym mm -hmm. Fit Form. The culture we're trying to have is uh, basically, um, you know, we try to have as much people being um, close I mean uh, we're I mean we're gyms where everybody knows each other yeah. it's nice that we know our members by name yeah so we're just not a, a kind of a Costco a high volume yeah. business where uh, when, when you're gonna come in most of our staff will know the names of our clients yeah. and on, that's on a, a per name basis that's right it's yeah, very right. personalized yeah and that's very important for us you're in the West Island we talked about community the importance you're a community guy obviously from RDP to Laval to, to DDO it's important for you to be part of what's happening and get your finger on the pulse and you do that so well. Um, oh, you could, you could bring the salad. Come on in, come on in. I already drew a special treat. This is, this is, um, special this is the special salad. So what we have here nice. is something that I've called the Dunn's Fit Form Salad. <laughs> so you got the protein from the smoked meat uh, and the eggs and the bacon. Um, and um, this is gonna be, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a bestseller. So look out and I want, I want royalties on this bad boy. <laughs> so let's talk about being part of a culture and what it means um, what it means to be part of, uh, of the West Island, we met through the Lakeshore General Hospital Foundation. Carol Ravenda, who kind of match, match made us. Exactly. Tell us about the importance of cause marketing and being part of um, a community. Well, for us, it's very important uh, being in a business where um, we want to get involved locally. Yeah. And uh, every gym, uh, we're very involved to give back. Yeah. And uh, the first thing we do is we link, we partnership with hospitals. So every gym, we have a partnership with hospitals and give back, uh, especially we go mostly to the sick kids. Yeah. Uh, f having kids today, I find it so important uh, to, to give back, um, you, know, they're you know, they're vulnerable and I, I would like to, to give back for that type of clientele. So we're very, uh, very sensitive to that. That's amazing and I'm so, had, I'm so, so glad you're part of the family with us. Last question. Um, look at the camera and address a younger Alex, the guy who was getting into business, who was taking over gyms and who wanted to change kind of the, you know, the gym landscape as we know it. What's the advice you would give to a younger Alex or anyone else starting uh, in an industry that's been around for a while that needs to evolve? 
Well, I, I think uh, what needs to be understand is to believe in, into yourself and uh, always make sure that you're a step ahead of, of the market. You know? So uh, that would say um, that's where we have to go. Stay ahead of trends. Try the Dunn's Fifth Form Salad. And all of this is going to be happening again. It was to try the salad December 11th. Right here, there's going to be a radiothon. Joe, come on in. Tell us what's going on. In some Our producer, Joe, I bring her in spontaneously at the end of every show. All the time. Tell us what's up. December 11 is the radiothon taking place at Dunn's DDO. We will be serving that dish. You can drop in anytime during the day. After the proceeds are going back to the Lakeshore General Foundation. And in the evening, uh, Jamie and the crew, we take over. And we're going to be filming the Parley Show. So join us for dinner between 6 and 8 and at 8 p.m. sharp. The Parley Show will be filmed here live at Dunn's DDO.